Hey YouTube, this is Aaron. Welcome to part two of the Wi-Fi Pineapple fishing tutorial. The goal of this video is to finalize the fishing that is done with the Wi-Fi Pineapple. In part one, you have seen how the example was taken into perspective using PHP. So what we're going to be doing here in this video is showing you how to use a uh, any website like Facebook for example. So in this demonstration you're going to be needing a web browser like Google Chrome, uh, Notepad++, uh, Plus Plus, uh, WinSCP, and then Putty. So um, we usually don't need to do any much changes here but you're going to need to be using those programs on and off once in a while. Uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and log into your Wi-Fi Pineapple. Uh, by uh, going into 172.116.42.1 then colon 14.71 with the newer upgrade. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to the upgrade tab and check for updates. You want to make sure you're always up to date. Make sure you're at 2.8.1 as of November 10th, 2013. So um, I've already checked off and made sure that I am on the latest one. I don't have the, uh, the internet connection on the Wi-Fi Pineapple at this time because uh, I don't want to, you know, risk giving off my, uh, my public IP, at, of course. So um, moving on here, so what we'll need to do first is uh, when you have a fresh uh, factory reset because you always want to make sure you, you're not uh, having conflict files when working with the Wi-Fi wi Pineapple. I experienced this a lot actually myself um, by just uh, trying to do the phishing tutorials on the web and a lot of them have their own scripts, their own uh, files, their own PHP coding. Everything is different depending on the version you use. So always make sure you're up to date because whatever the Wi-Fi Pineapple comes with is what works. So moving on here the first thing you want to do is make sure you go to configuration and we're going to go ahead and go down here and change the uh, DNS spoof configuration to the uh, Facebook like this and like this uh, the reason is behind this is because whoever would connect to the Wi-Fi pineapple whether it's a laptop or uh, a, ma a mobile phone or a tablet they may uh, put in www. Facebook or sometimes they just type in quickly facebook.com you just don't know and then click the update spoof host and then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and open uh, win SCP it may uh, throw off some uh, some errors in between I just hit no there uh, you want to use the file protocol SCP host we know that 172.16.42.1 and our root and then pineapples if I can spell here pineapples are yummy alright and this just makes it easier to drag and drop files um, it, yeah it's gonna throw it off in there that's alright Okay, so left side is your computer, the right side is the uh, Wi-Fi Pineapple. You want to navigate to the uh, www. And in here, what I did was the only thing I made change in here was adding the Facebook. And uh, you do that by going uh, to Facebook.com when you have your internet connection. And just right click on the screen and save that web page to your desktop, like so and I edit with uh, notepad uh, the uh, files in here the only thing you want to edit inside the Facebook uh, or inside the HTML that is is you want to go to search for uh, login underscore form click next to find it and it's this one right here this class one right here so I'll just scroll over a little bit here um, and that may not actually been it. Let me keep looking around here.
there it is okay this right here when it shows the action next to it you want to delete what's ever inside these quotations and put air.php because that's the file that's inside the pineapple okay so when they click that submit button it's gonna go to this okay so um, then once you have that taken care of the next thing you want to do is uh, configure the username field so the username field you'll want to search by uh, input type equals and then text okay scroll over here a little bit this is it alright the one that says ID email next to it this is in this whole area that's this is the username where they put their use their e email address in there what you want to do is where it says name equals and it's probably going to say email you want to get rid of email and replace that with name so name equals name the next thing you want to do is uh, edit the uh, password field so when they enter their password in there uh, so what we'll do is we'll check that out and see if uh, it's in here should be should be the same one actually but it should be right next to it Oops. It may actually not even be needing to require any type of edit. Let's just type in pass, probably pass. Password. I don't think it needs any type of editing, but um, no, it probably doesn't. No. Okay, so uh, password should be fine in here. Uh, right here it says uh, actually I found it right here input type equals text so it should say all of this right here next to the password uh, type password equals input type equals password yep equals pass so there you go I just found it sorry about that it's right here so this is what you should be finding there should this is exactly what it should say in there uh, I'm not sure exactly, you know, Twitter is the same and other sites, but this is what the Facebook one has. So once you have all that, all those changes, go ahead and save that file. And that will be in a .html. And then once you uh, had saved that file, you'll just drag and drop. Now, uh, when you drag and drop, of course, you'll hit copy and the file will be over here. Facebook files folder, you'll have that at the very bottom when you downloaded the uh, Facebook HTML file and you just drag and drop that as well so that you can get all the images and everything so once you have all this the next thing you'll need to do is go to the redirect now just double click that here and this is what mine looks like so go ahead and make these changes in there alright these are those uh, weird brackets that are in there uh, but go ahead and add this in there this is what your redirect will look like and of course you would you know keep this the uh, if you were going to add more of those it would look keep looking like uh, you know stacking them of course so save that close it and then you should be able I'm going to minimize this just in case something goes wrong but you should be able to go back to status and then go ahead and enable DNS spoof now let's go ahead and test it out so if you go to facebook.com and of course it fails on me during the demonstration here uh, let's see what our problem was um, uh, let's go ahead and update that update that should be okay. Okay. Well, let's just try our Facebook.com kind. There we go. Okay, this is exactly what I was looking for. Let's just try our other one, Facebook.com. I'm not sure why that there, there that's how it's supposed to work. Okay. 
and then example is in there too so if you ever wanted to try that out that's what my example looks like but uh, I had to add the example.html and I just wrote hello world just for a testing purpose I just kept it in there so in here once you've gotten this far you're pretty much done everything that you needed to do to test it out you just type in a random email just it doesn't even have to be valid uh, example.com I'm just going to type in this uh, let's just type in this is not safe and I'm going to put some numbers in there and then assemble okay hit login now it goes blank like this now of course you can always change this option but this is the way it's uh, designed or programmed already out of the box when you upgrade now to look at that uh, login that was made you just simply go back to your uh, login or your uh, Wi-Fi pineapple user interface and click on logs and then if you look down here this is exactly what we're looking for and if it doesn't pop up you can always hit the refresh and that will bring that up simple as that I mean every other website is just the same as the Facebook HTML you just have to find the right stuff to edit those fields and if you're not sure how to edit those fields the next thing to do is use Chrome and use tools and then use the uh, developers tools and this will help you go down this list to find out what where that code is for the uh, the you will highlight in blue which one is the right one for the in that Pacific area so uh, that's it for this demonstration hope you found this very useful until next time guys talk to you guys later